out, you come over to this counter, and the run sheet is signing in and sign out. Whenever you leave school or get to school, be out of school hours, you sign in and out on this sheet. When you go into the nurse's office or take medicine, it's this sheet. And then the late bus is this sheet. And the late bus is for athletics and academics only, not for personal reasons. And then you can use the phone over here to call your parents. And then there's a red hold button right at the bottom that you push, and then either one of us will pick it up and talk to your parents if you have to go homesick or if you need a pass or you need something else. Oh, dang it, I'm late. Oh. If you arrive late to school or late to class, you have to get a tardy slip. And the first tardy slip, you get a warning for. The second one and the third, and how many ever times you're tardy, you get detention for it. If you're late in the morning, you can have your parents call or they can write you a note saying that you're late and you will be excused and you will not have detention. But be sure to be on time and be ready for class, bring all your materials and get to class. You have eight minutes. Hey, girls, you can't have food in the academic wing. Did you see the signs? Oh, okay. You'll have to put that away, otherwise you're going to get in trouble. Thank you. Now this is where you're supposed to. Respect, no, el respeto no es un regalo. Tú tienes que ganártelo. Respect is not a gift. You have to earn it. It's called the reading homeroom and twice a week we meet for 25 minutes in your homeroom and all the students do and all the teachers do is read for the entire time. You're expected to bring a book with you every day. If you don't have a book, you'll have to go get one in the media center and if this happens, you'll also be dis uh, assigned detention. If you show up without a book, you're expected to have a book before homeroom starts. So this was my homeroom. Alexis here will be doing a great job. She brought her book. She's reading. Shy Lynn would have to get a book and she would also be assigned probably a half hour of detention for not bringing her book. You are expected to read the entire time and if not, uh, you'll be disciplined. Right, Alexis, I'm going to need your phone. Only between classes, okay? Thank you. Don't run in the hallways, otherwise this could happen to you. How much time do I have to get You have eight minutes on a normal day, and then on reading homeroom days, and after eight lunch is only three minutes. So you have enough time. Okay, so now I'm going to talk about the school dress code. First off, don't wear anything too revealing. Don't have your underwear showing, boys. Keep your pants above. And just don't wear any, like, drug and alcohol shirts that says stuff that's inappropriate because you will get told to take it off. And don't think you can get away with it because the teachers will pretty much tell you to take it off. Or they will send you to the office and you may even have to go home to change. You guys should give some advice to the freshmen coming in this year. My advice for you guys is just respect the people around you and be friendly to everybody. 
My advice is to do well in school because when you're getting a job after high school, they look at your high school transcripts. And if you fall behind as a freshman, it's really hard to catch up. Okay, some advice for you freshmen is do not be very loud and obnoxious in the hallways because it gets annoying really quickly and people will just be like glaring you down for it pretty much or worse. Okay, freshmen, when you guys are in the hallways, you tend to take up the whole hallway. Well, if you could stay to one side, it'd be appreciated because we get sick of walking around you or asking you to move repeatedly. So stay to one side of the hallway and don't take up the hall.